Hi there, it's Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave. It's Wednesday here in Central Victoria, Central West, and it's a dull old overcast rainy day. Well, it's the time of year. <laughs> it's uh, Aussie Wednesday, so we're doing an Aussie soap. Probably one not many people have heard of. Verde from Verde Bath and Body Bear Man. This is from a, a small Etsy company out of um, Brisbane in Queensland. It's a vegan organic soap and it comes in a, a tin and a, a firm puck. It's not hard. So you, you can sort of squash it, but it's very firm and it has a lovely spearmint eucalyptus scent, more spearmint than eucalyptus, about um, and a 6 out of 10 off the pup. So we're going to use that today. And the brush we're going to use, also an Aussie brush. My Billy Goat mono, Monolith brush. Lovely brush. Nice big brush. And the logo. There's a Billy Goat logo on the bottom. And I've got a lovely um, soft uh, snow leopard knot in there from Yaki. It's quite soft, so we'll just stick that in the water to soak. Um, price wise, this comes in at um, $16.90. So that's uh, 90 gram pack, 18. 0.8 cents per gram, which is an exceptional um, price in my categories. I'll just bring up the categories just over here. Um, I've realigned my categories to line up with the American one I have, and also the simplified. I I just have a green zone and a red zone. Anything in the red zone, I don't buy anymore, and don't I will not report on. And I only report on soaps in the green zone. There is an exception. Um, if it's a firm soap like this or a hard soap where I get um, high efficiency, I give it a, a double score, as you could say. <laughs> right. Well, we'll just go over to the lathering station now and um, we'll make the lather. Hi there, uh, at the overhead camera, I'll just turn this other light off. So we don't get too many shadows. Okay, that looks alright. Alright, um, got the soap already squashed in. Before we start, I'll just show you the, um, the razor we're using today. It's the Edwin Jagger. EJ89, DE89, sorry. Lovely little razor, and it's got the short uh, rubberized handle on there. The blade I'm using is the Derby Booster. Oh, we'll go get the ladder installed. Shake out, squeeze in, the shakes. Now I've only got one and a half grams of uh, soap in there, but that should be more than ample for this soap. In my experience. Now 
as with most, most vegetable and organic soaps, it may start a little bit bubbly. Let's have a look. Yeah. That's okay. Just keep swirling until we get a nice paste going. Just one shot of water there. Get things uh, building up. And the knot in this brush is quite soft. Do some opposite one. actually warm water today in my spray gun so we should end up with a uh, warm leather it's also warmed up the, the bowl See, it's already a lovely lather. You wouldn't be, uh, you may be surprised as this has um, olive oil in the recipe. This is probably the only soap I have with olive oil in it that actually makes a decent lather. She does it, but this uh, lather is very nice and stable, medium density, wouldn't call it high density. As you can see, it's rich and creamy. It's going to be very nice leather. Having trouble with my gum. Beautiful, look at that. Lovely and shiny. Sprays should do it. I'll call that three. Lovely shiny leather. Quite happy with that. I'll just give it a a little bit more water and we'll be we'll go and start the shave. Okay, I'm happy with that. Yeah, nice. Beautiful. Alright, we'll swap back. Hi, right, back from the lab. 
Very happy with the leather, beautiful. Rich, creamy, shiny leather we got there. About a medium density, medium to high. Alright, oh, we haven't put the tree shave on yet. We're using the, the neck again. A neck brushless cream, just put a little bit on. Rub it up against the grain. Let's put that other light on. Oh, that's better, I can see. And whether you can see better, looks all right. I'm going to put soap on. Lovely. Yes, I made a nice warm soap. Oh, leather, sorry. Beautiful leather. Nice scent coming off. Um, You see, quite a nice, rich leather. You wouldn't believe that it's got um, olive oil in it. I'll just put up the uh, the ingredient list just here. Oh, it's lovely. Very good, so. Edwin Jagger D89 with a Euster Derby blade. Here we go. Going with the grain. Lovely and smooth. There, oh, that is really slick. Wow, well, that's really slick so. And the ladder, there's no signs of instability, which you not you get a lot with the vegetable soaps, but this one is really well made. I might even call the the scent a six out of ten. I think it's a 
good strong, solid scent wafting up into the nose, sort of that minty eucalyptus scent, very refreshing. You might hear some noises in the background. They're drilling out some uh, tree stumps. Slick and lovely residual too. I must say this is the best Etsy soap I've come across. Australian one anyway. It's a lovely, rich, creamy leather, really slick. I have to say this is as good as any soap I've got, really. I call it a top tier soap, no doubt. Together with the price, oh, this is unbelievable. Wow, so slick. I'm very impressed. Wow. She's still stable as anything. Remember, this was only one and a half grams of soap. So you're getting even twice the value that you would normally give of a, a soft soap. Wow. This is the same company I had that uh, glycerin soap I was using for what, nearly six months for my pre-shave. That comes from the same place. the grain, final pass, I lovely residual this is as good as stuff I paid 30, 40 bucks for. Is it a whipper? No, just some, just some marks.
blade is very smooth, the Derby Ooster. Yeah, there is a little weeper there. Probably just knocked the head off a bump. Wow, that's really nice on the skin. It just it's it's got to be dry, but I can still feel the slipness in. Yeah. So even though I dry it out, I can still feel the, the slippery residual. Right, uh, I'll take my hat off. I picked up underneath my glasses there. Two mils. Wow, residual. All right, that's enough about the glasses. stuff is as slick as snail snot. And very protective as well. So if you're in Australia, I'd give this, um, I'd recommend this one no problem. Give it a try. Especially if you want a vegan soap and you're looking for something organic. Now there's only one scent though. Being a, a small producer. Feel on our skin as well. Just a little bit along the jawline. Very nice shape. Wow. Oh, so residual. Feel the skin. Phenomenal. 
Well, I'm, I'm very pleased with that shave and uh, unbelievable soap actually. For the price, you wouldn't expect that. to shave with this soap more often. I think it's been six months since I've shaved with it. All right. I'll just put the alum over and chow with that. I don't expect too much. Except maybe that spot down here. Yeah, just that spot. There's nothing. Oh, just a tingle here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, just a few tingles along here. But that's not unusual. Alright, to show you the lather left over, it's still stable. So that lasted the, no, my long shave without breaking down, and we could go for another five, ten minutes. Easy. All right. I'll uh, just put that rest of that leather on. I'll put it all over my face and go and have a shower. I'll see you after the shower and do the post and summary. Okay, we're back. Lovely shower. Oh, that's a lovely feel on the skin. Beautiful. Lovely shave. Right, we'll go straight into the post. Bit of witch hazel. With some menthol crystals. $20 on Amazon. A few 
months ago, about six months ago. And uh, the bowl, we used the Yaki Duke ceramic bowl, generic spray bottle for adding water. And the blade we used was the Usta from Dobie. Nice smooth blade, at least for me. Better than the um, Derby Extra for me. And the final ingredient comes from Blue Devil Shave Co. The Peppermint Patch Aftershave Splash. Again, don't need much of it. It does feel a touch oily, but it does soak in. Beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, fresh. <laughs> a bit on the top there. I don't know. Up here. Keep your head cool. Okay, that's my shave for today. And we'll catch you on my next shave. Thank you all for watching.